If you have been searching how you can change the ownership of your YouTube channel, maybe you want to hand over the, the channel to someone else, or maybe you want to change the Gmail of the channel, like you see right here, I have a lot of channels on that one Gmail, and I want to change this, I want to transfer this channel like completely to another Gmail. So I will show you how you can do this because I've been searching on how to do this. I tried to find out how I can actually do this for for months right now, seriously. So because of that, I, I think that there are a lot of people out there who will be searching on how to do the same thing. That's why I want to, do, to show you exactly how you can do this. The reason why I want to move this channel to a different Gmail is because in case if one of this channel like this is my main channel right here if this channel has a problem then it will affect all this channel you understand so I will show you how you can do this right now we will completely transfer this channel to a different email address when you sign up on YouTube you need to click on your profile then come to switch account and you need to make sure that you have switched to the account in which you need to transfer in which you want to transfer as you can see the tick right here I'm in the account so all you are going to do, you are going to go to the YouTube studio, click on the YouTube studio tab right here and wait for the tab to open the YouTube studio as you can see. So what you will have to do next, go to the channel settings in the YouTube studio. When you go to settings, you will have this permission option. So this is my first time doing this after reading. As you can see, I was reading some stuff right here. You can see I was going through this before I got a glimpse on how I can actually do this. So if you come to settings, we are in settings right here, then you will have to head on to permission right here. So if you come, come to permission, you will see that this is my email address and it says owner when you check the row right here you can see that it says owner so the owner of this uh, youtube account is this email address right here so this email address is the owner of this youtube account and i want to change the email address i want to completely remove this email address from being the owner of the youtube channel you understand so when you get into the permission tab you will see that we have uh, option out you need to option out though when you option out it will just option out this email address from here but the email address will still be the primary email address but we are going to i'm going to show you what you you are going to do next and uh, if you check on this other tab you'll see that it says something like uh, i to be sincere i don't really understand but i you can come here and take a look i'm going to put the link of this uh, article in this video description so that you can go there with in case you have any trouble so it shows that your channel needs to be a, a brand account or a brand channel something like that i do not really understand that but when i clicked on here i was able to see that i can actually do this in this account so i don't know if it can work for your account it has something to do with a brand channel or a brand account something like that sorry i don't really understand that's why i cannot explain so let's continue so when you get here and you see this option out or if you don't see the option out and you see that the the, the permission tab doesn't have any email link to it then you are good to go you understand so if you come you are going to option out that's if in case you see the option click on option out don't worry it's not going to do any harm so it's just going to remove the, the owner permission from the, the settings right here but it will still be the primary uh, the email address will still be the primary owner of this account you understand so if you get if you click here in the first place and you don't see the email address you will see these settings you understand so what we are going to do we are going to click on manage permissions right here so when you click on that it's going to open a new tab as you can see we have our new tab and make sure that you are in the right youtube channel that's why i said you need to switch to the youtube channel you understand you need to switch to the youtube channel so make sure that you are in the right youtube channel and in the right gmail so when you click on here it will show manage permissions so click on the manage permissions and you are going to input your password i'm just going to do that quick okay so once you have confirmed that you are the one trying to change all these settings you are going to click on manage permissions right here 
So when you click on manage permissions, you will see that the the this is the the primary owner of the YouTube channel. So this primary owner, if you you hit on, and it will give you a highlight that the primary owner of this YouTube channel is so it's my takes and the YouTube and the email address. Sorry, the email address is the email address in which I don't want. So we are going to add the other email address right here. For you to do that and make that new email address the main owner of this YouTube channel, you are going to come here to add. When you come here to add, you you will have to input the email address that you want to be the owner of this YouTube channel. So just follow my steps. You have a couple of things to do right here. I'm going to input. Okay. So when you input the email address that you want to make the owner of the YouTube channel, click on role. You will see the role right here, right? So when you see the role, click on owner. Make sure you click on owner right there. So when you click on owner, then you click on invite. So when you invite, then they're going to send an email address to the to the new email in which you want to make the owner of the YouTube channel. So you are just going to open your Gmail. I'm doing that right now. So if you, in case you open your Gmail and you don't see the message, make make sure that you check your spam folder and or, or your trash folder. You might see it there in case it needs to to get into the inbox folder. You understand? So I've received my message. So they sent an invitation in which I need to click on accept invitation. So I need to click on accept to be the owner of the of the YouTube channel. But this doesn't make me the, 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 the full owner of the YouTube channel. You understand? Which means that you can see. If you check right here, you will see that this one is still the primary owner. So we are going to click on OK. I've accepted that from my phone and we are going to click on manage permission again so as you can see because I'm the owner I can click on this tab and make myself a primary owner right now you understand so when I click on primary owner you will see that make glitch primary owner of blah 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 so this glitch is the new email address that I want to use as the primary owner as the main owner of the YouTube channel so I'm going to click on transfer. Okay, so the only thing that is left to do now is to leave this for seven days. After seven days, I'm just going to completely remove the other channel. Okay, it's been seven days already and I'm back to the manage permission settings. As you can see, after waiting for seven days, we will be able to make our secondary email the original owner of the YouTube channel. So just follow my steps. Once you get here, as you can see, just click on primary, then click on transfer right here. So when you click on transfer, it's going to take a few seconds and it's going to completely transfer the ownership to Glitch. As you can see now, the main email address that was the owner of the YouTube channel is now the owner, not the primary owner. So I'm just going to click on remove and I'm going to remove the old email address from the YouTube channel. You see how simple this is. So after waiting for seven days, you can be able to make your new email address the primary owner and you will now have a uh, access to be able to delete the old email address. So if I go back to my YouTube studio, just to make it for you to be sure that this actually works, and all your videos are there, it doesn't delete anything from your YouTube channel. If I go back in the other email address, you can see that it's there is no way for me to log in in the channel again. That's because the channel was successfully removed from the old email address, as you can see. So I'm going to go to the new email address, as you can see, as the email address. I'm going to click there and log in from the other email address that we just added. You understand? So I will go to my YouTube studio and I'm going to show you that everything is still intact. You don't lose videos, you don't lose anything when you do this transfer. So if you check right here, you will see that the videos are still there and everything is good.